Hello there. Um, this morning I was uh, having a bit of a play with embossing folders. Um, I thought at first that 3D embossing folders weren't for me because um, being a clean and simple kind of gal, you know, a lot of cards are made with them and the whole of the front is covered. But um, I've discovered there are lots and lots of embossing folders that you can use part of. Um, so I wanted to do some colouring in an embossing folder and then carry on and play a bit more. I did have a lovely time, I have to say. And I used this embossing folder, uh, which is a, a Sizzix, Tim Holtz, and um, it's like a slice of, of tree. And I made this, this is, well, this is what I finished up with, I made this card. Um, I started off by um, using the size panel that I would for the front of a card. And, uh, well, just let me do it. I'll show you what I did. Um, I think I can remember what I did, but it, it, it may vary a little bit, but we'll see. But that was the card. Um, it's, it's all Sizzix, actually. The leaves are Sizzix. The embossing folder is Sizzix. Um, not the sentiment. I think that's the personal impressions, actually. It's a very, very old stamp that I've had for absolutely ages. But I had a lot of fun. And I, I don't know if you can see on here, but there's a lovely lot of shimmer on those leaves. Anyway, this is what I did. Let me, let me get going. First of all, opened up my embossing folder and I did oh that's my card blank I'll put that there I got some walnut stain distress oxide ink and I put it on the debossed side that's the one with the crevices in so this is going to go on the top which is going to be the crevices on the right side of my piece of card so all I'm going to do is rub this ink all over the inside of my embossing folder. I did wonder whether I would um, spritz it a little bit. You know, distress oxide inks react with water. I did wonder about spritzing it, but I decided, in fact, to do the spritzing afterwards onto the card not onto the embossing folder. So let's just have a go with this little chap. Pop it in, close it up, and in my Spellbinders machine, I have the peculiar sandwich of a piece of shim and a piece of card. The shim gets very bent and slips a bit, but with a piece of, this is just a piece of packaging, I think, it seems to work. So let's let's have a go and pop this through the machine. There we go. Right. Put my things away. Must remember to give that a wash. And there is my inked background. Now for my water, I'm going to spritz it. And you can see the water's doing its job, moving the ink around. A bit lovely. Okay, now I'm going to dry this. So I'm in the ordinary way you could leave it to dry, but I'm going to hurry it on its way just a trifle, so I'm going to use my heat tool. I'm not 
if this is the colour I used before. I may have used vintage photo on that. Can't remember. Next thing I think I did was to get some Versamark. This is a really old one, so it doesn't matter if any of this ink comes back onto it. I'm just going to go over the top with the Versamark like this. There we go. Now, the next thing I played with was some luscious pigment powder from this is from indigo blue and i think i used this one which is verdigris so what i'm going to do now is get a soft brush this one is actually an aqua tint brush i've got various soft brushes some were from perfect pearls some as i say this one's aqua tint but you need a soft one. And all I'm going to do is, is kind of brush it around. The, and it's going to stick to the Versamark. It's just going to give a bit of interest. doesn't matter whether you put a lot or a little in it. It's absolutely personal preference. Do what you like. I keep saying, you old lobster, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Now, I, I, I want to get rid of any excess from off there. So I'm going to use a, a Swiffer. I don't know what you call these brushes. Um, and it gets rid of any that's absolutely not hanging on to anything else at that point. There we go. I'll just wipe this mat. Oh, I need a clean bit of baby wipe. There we go. Right. And then I think the next thing that I did, let me just look. Yeah, I think the next thing I did was to add some gilding wax and this is just done with my finger you can do whatever you like as much or again as little as you want and this is just again picking up bits of relief and the overall effect is really quite interesting but of course doing clean and simple cards I don't want the whole thing like this it would be just too much so I decided to cut it down. Now, I can carry on adding colour if I wish to or not, as the case may be. Once it's cut like this, um, embossed like this, I can't die cut it because I will lose a lot of the impressions by flattening it, but I can cut it with my trimmer, with scissors, whatever I want. What I did here was I cut a piece. Um, I think I cut it down. How did it go? That was there, like that, was it? But it doesn't matter, wherever it was. I think it was like that. Um, cut a piece out, and I was thinking I was going to use all of that. In the end, I, I cut it down and made just a square for the backdrop of my card. Um, but... You can just look and see what bit you fancy. It could be a tiny bit here, a little bit there, whatever. Um, and what I did afterwards was just to highlight the edges with more of the gilding wax. Um, let me just cut a piece of this down. The other side. Um, the spare piece, whichever piece I decided to use for my background, I kept as is. And the other piece I used to cut some leaves. And once I'd cut the leaves, I started to play around again with more of my luscious powders. They are absolutely fabulous. I think I'll just cut this into, into, can I cut a square or? That's quite nice. Let me cut a rectangle out of this a bit. There's a nice bit of a rectangle. 
and I can cut a leaf from this. That's just big enough to cut a leaf. So let me just show what I can do with this. I wanted to, I don't know whether I did it with that card, but just to stress the edges, which I tried to do on this one. And to do that, just get some scissors open with the sharp pointy side towards your work, I mean, bringing it towards you. And you can just drag it along the side and it just scrapes up the edges a little bit, just distresses them a little. Um, where you've embossed it, it might be quite weak and you might get a tear going in, which is even better really, because it, it just adds that little bit more interest. But being clean and simple, we don't want a great big thing. We just want kind of a little bit here and a little bit there. And then of course we can add a little gold to the edges just to make them a little bit more interesting. There we go. You see? Now, if I cut a leaf from this one, let me just cut one leaf and I'll just show what it looks like. The general tone will match with the background because it is part of the same background, but I want it to be a little bit more distinctive. So I'm going to add some more color to it. Let's just put that, I'll be using that again in a mo. Let's just, Get this leaf out. Now, if I want to make that a bit more interesting, just where's the front of my car? Just imagine this. Whoops, a daisy. Perhaps that would go like that. Where's my leaf? I'm going to put some more Versamark on this. The idea being, I'm going to add some colour. But because it's come from... Um, the original embossed piece of card it's got interest it's got even if it's flattened by being die cut here it has got some of those marks from the relief so let me put on some this is penny dreadful <laughs> penny dreadful so it's copper it's a copper color and i'm just pushing it on dry look at that it's gorgeous stuff. Just needs a little bit of something to hang on to. You can mix it with water. You can mix it with uh, paste. You can oh, you can do all sorts. And this one is copper green. Copper green. They've all got lovely, cut you know shiny bits in. Oh, they're just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Put a bit of this one on. I think I might need a bit more. Um, there's a mark on this side. Look at that. Now to set these, that just needs to be wafted through some a mist of water. So, do you see, it's just wherever you want to do it. Get rid of that bit there. Um, let me put these lids back on. So the idea being is, is basically just have a bit of fun. Um, let me put a bit more of this on around the edge again of this, just to give it... Oh, look. <gasps> Fab. Just look at it. as random as you like I love it oh and then I simply added a little sentiment it is very very simple it is such a lot of fun the colors you can put whatever you want so um, it's worth having a play see what you've got see what you can do with it um, and you don't have to use the whole thing to make a a decent card. What I did with the, the one this morning was to cut a front panel 
um, then cut an aperture with this little double-sided, double-stitched rather, um, square die. And the panel I cut just is recessed inside there, you see? And then the leaves mounted on a bit of foam tape just so that, and I wanted to get them so that this background was showing through all of the holes. I didn't want any of the white showing through. And it, it's just fun. And I hope you'll have a go and uh, have a bit of fun yourself. Just look at what you've got and have a play. As ever, thanks so much for watching.